what is up guys welcome back to life and there's hope you guys are doing well today we're gonna be looking at a video that was released by mbnf uh last month and it almost felt like a rebrand i don't know why but it felt like a rebrand of the types of videos that they create and the style of uh, portraying their information so i wanted to kind of like show you guys what what it is um so i'm gonna be reacting to it it's a two minute video so uh, I'll probably stop halfway and then uh, let it play through. But it's kind of cool to see the evolution of a brand that you've kind of followed for a while. And um, if you don't know, MBNF is one of my favorite. It is my favorite um, watch manufacturer. Um, they're, um, Max Boozer is um, the founder of this company and they create um, horological pieces of art. And so I wanted you guys to kind of see this rebrand. I'll give you my thoughts on it. Um, and with that said, let's go. The Friends concept started actually completely naturally on a flight back from Singapore to Geneva. I was working for Harry Winston in those days and I sketched a watch which was two circles. One side was Booster and the other side was the Friends. And for me it was very, very, very simple. I just have ideas. And all these incredible artisans, engineers, watchmakers, if I manage to get them all to the same table, we're going to be able to transform that idea into reality. How do we choose our friends? Well, initially, of course, 14 years ago, it was all about the people I'd already worked with. But then we took it one step further without actually realizing it. Six retailers were crazy or trustful enough to actually finance this whole idea based on a sketch. And then the first customers who bought that horological machine number one when MBNF was nothing, we didn't have any credentials. Today it's, it's easier. We've created 16 calibers in 14 years. It's easier to trust us, but imagine those first buyers, those first clients. All right, 120, uh, just really quickly, I think, um... What's really cool is he actually went back and discussed the first horological machine, which is the one that's like the two, the two, um, two worlds colliding with this turbulent in the middle. Um, that's kind of how he describes it. Um, and obviously it's in the name, Max Boozer is one, Friends is the other, and they're colliding in the sense to create this really magnificent piece. Um, one of the things I really love about Max Boozer and Friends is the Friends part. He is trying to make sure that those who perhaps don't really have a voice, um, within uh the, the 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 watch community but are doing such incredible things with watches are being recognized for what the, what they are able to create so that's really cool i i like that he kind of went back to that that uh, kind of um kind of like start of, of it all um the next thing he kind of discussed was be you know the first customer the first retailer uh, to really trust the brand and and say you know what i can see this selling that is um, in incredible uh, to really think about. You know, you have these crazy looking pieces that a retailer said, you know what, I'm going to take that piece. I'm going to buy it from you. And I think I'll be able to find a buyer. Just so you know, at the time that this, that MBNF started, people weren't buying these crazy looking watches as, as often as they are now. I think obviously, obviously it's been an evolution where people have started to say, you know, watches can actually look a little bit different. And um, I think MBNF was a big part of that revolution. But imagine being a retailer saying, I've got this weird looking thing and I have to find a buyer for it. That's a pretty daunting task. But I think um, uh, Max's sentiment there is those were the real friends. Those are the people who said, you know, I trust your vision. I trust your ideas. Let me put that into practice and see if I can find a buyer for this. Um, and I think from, from the changing of hands from Max Boozer and friends to the retailer, that is, um, that is, that is how all of this really started. I think from the retailer to the customer, the customer is obviously joining the MBNF tribe, but that's really just in their taste. That's someone who's saying, you know what? I actually really like that. And I think that's a vote of confidence, one for the retailer, but then you draw that back all the way to MBNF. And that's where you say, you know what? People actually like this. And that's, I think how they've had such great success over the years and how they've created so many really interesting pieces, um, that they have, um, that they've that they've been able to create and i've obviously fallen in love with so um we'll watch straight to the end now they're all part of the friends concept it's 
Since 2005, our team has grown from one, it was me all alone in my flat, to 26 now. And we still work with at least 40 to 45 full-time uh, people outside, which means that also the amount of projects that we're doing at any given time is of course much larger. So even though we integrate uh, knowledge, we so much need the people we work with outside. So to all of you who've allowed us to create this incredible story, thank you so much and we count on you for the future. Okay, cool. I, I noticed he was wearing the LM Perpetual. It's such a beautiful piece. I love the dial on that. Um, okay, like, I don't know if you guys got the vibe here, but like, think back, if you've seen, think back to like when um, LM101 or uh, some of the first uh, videos that MBNF had released where it was a little bit more serious, it was about, you know, um, you know, how our ideas came about and it was very focused on, on the, the pieces and this was a little bit more lively and this was like Max connecting with us, which he has done from the start, but it felt a little bit more like... I don't want to say youthful uh, because it's all it's, it's always kind of felt youthful but this was a little bit more um, I don't know upbeat and they had the uh, watchmakers go through the screens uh, the, the the friends um, come through um, through the screen I thought it was really cool and I feel like a like a different vibe from MBNF in a way I'm very excited to actually see the release of their next watch the next watch that they actually release I think it's gonna have a very cool vibe to whatever they end up releasing um, I kind of saw this like evolution in their videos when they released the um, uh, the the bulldog. Um, you kind of felt a little bit more of a different vibe from the videos, which I thought was really cool. Um, one of the things that I also really liked about this video is that um, we got to see the watchmakers actually working on some of the, uh, the parts. You saw them, you know, uh, polishing some of the the the, the bridges. Um, uh, and um, working on some of the different parts and the hands and stuff. I thought that was really cool too. Um, obviously, for me, um, watchmaking goes beyond, for, for me personally, it goes beyond aesthetics and I actually like seeing uh, watchmakers uh, doing, uh, taking part in, uh, in, in taking parts and putting their fine touches onto it. That's something that's really important to me. Um, so really cool video uh like i've said like mbnf is obviously one of my favorites favorite companies this was a cool video um while i do not own uh, an, MBN, an mbnf piece at this time uh, I, I really do hope I, i'll be able to join the tribe sometime but at the same time i think like the fact that i do cover mbnf quite a, quite often uh i feel like um you know this video was obviously max's way of saying thank you to the friends and i actually think i'm i'm a part of the tribe uh, unofficially <laughs> um because I, I i really do love them and i like to cover them and i like to tell you guys about about them so um cool video really really interesting like rebrand in my opinion from from mbnf uh, the way that they've created their videos so um i hope you guys enjoy this i'll put a link in the description to the original video too um, if you are new here uh, welcome to Life on the Wrist. Be sure to hit that like button. Everyone knows that as soon as you click on my videos, you should be hitting the like button. So be sure, be sure to smash that like button for us. Also, to, uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Or if you've watched our videos and you just aren't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn, uh, hit the bell icon so you're notified when we upload. And with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time.